All right, guys. So I wanted to make this video because um, let me see if I can close this out real quick. So we're getting recording. We're good. All right. I wanted to make this video because um, I understand that the the creation of levels for King Spray and developing for the game is is very daunting for um, the beginning end user. And I've been um, working on a level for probably I'm going to say like the last week and a half and been learning how to use the SDK and everything for going on about two to three months now. So um, I'm going to break this down to a real simple tutorial for you to follow and understand. And um, that way you can get an understanding of how things work in the game with the Unity engine. We're going to start with a basic uh polygonal model and uh, we're going to make it paintable we're going to do the uv meshes and everything on it to make it paintable bring it into unity and then launch it out as a bundle asset to be played in king spray so first things first go on the discord download discord and then you're going to want to search for this discord channel called king spray level design Okay, so in King Spray level design, you will find a welcoming screen here. There's the Discord server where this guy Macri is the um, you know the person who started the channel. He tells you how to download um, files, but let's see, there's one for. Um, Level downloads, feedback desires of man and building. These are downloadables, adding features. Hang on. Custom skin feedbacks. Support me, no. News, level downloads. If you go into, um, we really need to make a, a channel specifically for uh, Kingsbury level design. But if you jump into the, uh, I believe it's the chit chat here. There'll be a lot of people talking about it. Um, you might need to scroll back up ways to find um, links but they're here so let's go back up pretty far because everything you're gonna download to do this you're going to get it from Google Drive links so people were talking about building levels. Um, let's go farther up. This is a, a well populated discord, so you will find what you're looking for here. Um, we just got to keep going up. Unfortunately, this there's like I said, there's no channel that has the download links there for the development. So you're going to have to search for them. At the beginning of the channel, people start talking about it. You know, this is kind of ridiculous, so I think I'm going to start a um, my own Discord channel. Um, 
I'm gonna start making my own Discord channel where you can get direct links to the downloads. So I'm gonna do that as soon as I can um, for the development. There is a way to, these are steam charts. Blender. I don't use Blender. But, um, let me see if I can find it. Models. Humble Unity Bundle. And imported floor patterns. That's a model link. I can't. Let's see. Google Drive. All right, so here's the here's the link to the Google Drive of Nolan's document. Uh, Princess Fuzzy actually um, posted it. So you're gonna click here. Once you find it in the Kingspray development page, you can also ask there. It'll come with a Unity package, and a media package, and a paintable surface, and a Kingspray bundle workflow. Uh, you're going to just go ahead and download all of this. So there should be a um, an option right here. You just download it all. It'll start downloading. It'll zip it up and download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it. Okay. So here in the Kingspray level creator, you're going to have a Unity bundle here. And this you're just going to drag and drop in the Unity. After You're going to get a, a zip file and you're going to extract it and it's going to give you a Kingspray bundle creator and then a bundle creator folder. So in the bundle creator folder you're going to find the bundle workflow uh, Word document. Which read all of this and it will make a little bit more sense of what we're going to be going over in a, in a minute. It's talking about building the example levels and setting assets and creating a level and making it work with the scene. Um, read all, all of this. You're going to have a light understanding of it, but um, you're really not going to understand it until you see someone do it or you have more experience doing it yourself. So read all of this and um, kind of get an understanding. Um, paintable surface setup. The same the same thing happens here. You're gonna you're gonna read this, and um, from here you're gonna want to get a somewhat understanding of how this works. Um, basically, what they're saying is we're gonna create a mesh off of the uh, pre-existing mesh that we bring in as our model. From there, we're gonna you know UV map it, and we're gonna the UV channels to the mesh and then planar map and then you're going to be able to paint it and you should be able to add vertex colors but I'm not going to get super into detail on how to do that I'm just going to make something that's paintable and show you it running so let, let's go ahead and do that now read all of this and this will all make sense about what I'm about to do okay so open up your 3D program whether it's Blender, Maya 
or you're using 3ds max or cinema 4d whatever it is whatever you choose to use they all kind of work the same way um i can't tell you how to um i can't really explain how that's how that's gonna work for every single program but i will just give you a, a quick run through of how it works for mine Okay, so let's, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to make a real simple wall. Just, you know, a surface that's paintable. Just something real simple, real fast. I'm not going to get into detail on doing a super complicated model. So let's go ahead and as soon as my loads up, we'll jump in here. Okay, so... Bring in a primitive model, whether it's a uh, you know primitive mesh. You gotta, for me, you know, I'm gonna bring in, you know, a simple cube. So here's a cube. Now, this cube right now is in one to one scale. With King Spray, I believe the smallest you can do is a two to one, and the biggest you can do is a five to one scale. So we're not scaling on the Z axis we're gonna be scaling on the X axis and the Y axis which you can see here this is the X axis this is the Y axis so if we're scaling on the X we can do you know five to one that's gonna stretch it now that's fine for what we're gonna do here this will work so this this object, um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select it all. We're gonna go into face mode. Hang on. We're gonna go into. Hang on, why is that doing that? I shouldn't be doing that. Um, let's go back into object mode. Okay. Um, we're getting surface points. This is nerves. Why nerves? What tools are we using? Um, a surface point. Weird. Okay, so we have an issue here. Let's just delete this and start over. Let's go back into object mode. Like that, delete the whole mesh. Go to create. Oh, because I went to NURBS primitive. Go to polygon primitives. Don't use NURBS. Okay, so we're going to scale them on the x axis, so 5 and 1. And this is going to make a pretty decent sized wall by the time we bring it in. Okay, so from here, we're just going to go ahead and grab the face of the object, the side that you want to paint on. And once you grab the face of the object, you're going to open up your UV editor and you're going to look at the UVs. So this is the, the UVs for this part of the mesh. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is we're going to go ahead and select it all. We're going to make a duplication. Control duplicate. Now, as you can see, we have, you know, a separate mesh here. We'll go like that. With it selected, you're going to hide everything else besides the election selection. So, uh, hide unselected. How about? Um, yeah, alt hide. Hang on. Um, it's going to be the cube on top. So this is PC cube 2. Control Z. So we're going to go Alt H. And now we're left with this cube. Now with this cube, what we can do is we can go in here and go into these faces and start 
deleting out all these faces. So now we just have one face. Um, let's go back to display, show, and then we'll show all. So now when we click here, we have a face that's kind of tucked away. So now we have this face and it sits on top of the pre-existing render of the cube. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this piece and we're gonna name it the collision mesh. Just like that, collision mesh. And for cube two, we're just gonna name this render mesh. Okay, so now we have two um, objects that have been separated. Now, for the, the render mesh, we can go into the UV editor, we can leave the normal render mesh alone. It's fine for the UVs to be like that. We'll actually, we'll go to the UV editor, edit, we'll delete it, and then we'll click on the render mesh again, go to UV, and just do an automatic render. So it's automatic projection on that. UV editor, and now it's automatic. It's projecting all sides. Okay, so let's go back into the collision mesh. Good UV editor. There's nothing there because we deleted it. So let's go to UV, and we're going to run a planer. Now it's planing in the wrong direction, so we'll do Control Z to delete that. We'll go to UV. Go to planer, options, and then we'll do it on, we want to plane on the Z axis, so apply. Okay, there's our planer map for the Z axis. So we go to UV editor, on the collision mesh, UV editor, there it is. So. The UV is flipped upside down, so we're going to go to UVs, and we'll select it, modify, flip. So now we have a flipped UV. Okay. So now that we have that on a 5 to 1 ratio, we can go ahead and add, um, let's add a material to it. Uh, the best way to do it is to find an image either from, you know, a King Spray save, uh, we'll go to uh, Assign New Material, we'll go to Lambert, or use a basic material um, that didn't open the way I wanted it to, so we'll go into the Attributes, we'll find a file that we can lay on top of it. So for me, um, it's a 5 to 1, so we'll go to Documents, we'll go into my King Spray Graffiti folder, and we'll just grab a um, one of the bigger walls, maybe uh, like the long wall or something. Grab the PNG, open it, render it. No, that that's wrapping around. Um, make sure I'm on the right mesh though. Let's go into UV editor. Okay, so it's the right length. That's not the issue. But we need to manipulate this UV so it fits on the, the wall and it's not wrapping around. So select the entire UV and then we're just gonna scale the UVs manually to fit in that zero to one. So now when we um, bring this down should be updating. Because that's a 5 to 1 image ratio. Alright.
so we're having an issue here. Let's go to um, six again on the collision mesh. Maybe the other there. We're getting some stretching and um, we're gonna figure out why right now. So if I pull this off, that looks great. Um, I accidentally assigned the material to this. So we'll go ahead and um, go here to assign new material and we'll just add the Lambert to that. Whoops. No, we won't. <laughs> okay, um, this is gonna be the render cube. We're just gonna assign new material to this. Lambert, perfect. So when we get the collision mesh, when we snap it in, uh, there's your graffiti. And it, it all fits inside of that ratio. So let's go back, snap it back on so it's uh, seamless like that. We'll go into the collision mesh Make sure that we have that clicked. I mean the render mesh, I'm sorry. We go into the render mesh and we'll assign new material and we'll name it Lambert, like so. Okay. Go back into the collision mesh. Okay, so now we have UVs for the collision mesh and they make sense. So um, when we click on the collision mesh, I'm sorry, the render mesh, does that material apply to the render mesh? No. It's applied to the collision mesh. There we go. A little bit of Z fighting here. So um, we can snap it back just a tiny bit. If you push it too far forward, it's going to cause some implementation issues. So we'll snap it back. There's our image, no Z fighting, we're good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our collision mesh, which is this part. Go into the collision mesh, we're gonna go to UV set editor. Now we have the map one. Way that King Spray reads UVs um, for painting on them is that it uses a channel of three UVs. So let's rename this to UV. All right, and then we'll make a copy and then we'll name this one UV2. And then we're gonna make another copy. And this one will be UV3. All right, so now we got UV2 and UV3 on the render mesh. I mean, sorry, the collision mesh. And that's what we want. Okay, so now that we have that, we're all set. We can go ahead and move this to the side. Uh, the best thing to do right now is go to your collision mesh, which is, you know, the one I put the graffiti on. We're gonna assign a new material and we're gonna make it a Lambert. That way there's nothing there. We snap it back to the original model. And we are good there. And then we wanna go into Windows and go to um, Relationship Editors and check the UV linking and make sure that um, it's gonna be UV linking, UV centric, or you know, however you would do it in Blender. We wanna check these UV channels and make sure that they're not assigned to any material specifically. All right, so now we can go ahead and close this out. And what we do now is we'll export it to Unity. So let's go ahead and go to object mode. 
We'll select all of it. We'll go to File. And we'll do Export Selection. And we'll just name it, um, put it in the right folder. I'll just put it on the desktop for now. This is going to be the test wall. And it's going to, you want to export as a FBX. All right, so now the file's exported. Let's go to Unity. Now, when you're using Unity for Kingspray, um, you want to get version two, 2017, version 2017 3.1, since that's the version the game was originally developed on. Um, it might work on newer versions, but I've had problems where it might not. Some people say it works on 2017.4 too, but just get the one that it calls for in the, the document. By the time this video is uh, uploaded, I'll make a link to the document, to Google Drive document, so you can download it. Okay. So, um, this is a scene that I had open. Um, it works. Something I'm working on. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go File, make a new scene. And inside, this is, you're going to get the Kingspray assets when you drop that this file, the bundle creator into Unity. So you're gonna grab this and drag it in and it'll import your assets. And then you'll get this uh, right down here in the hierarchy, in the project tab. Sorry, the hierarchy is up here. You'll have a project tab with all your meshes and everything. Okay, so here's a good example. If we open the, if we click on example and we go to scenes, and open the shipping container scene. Um, study this. The floor has a bundle tag for teleport. The shipping container has a bundle tag for paint surface, as well as a canvas brush script, which this is the, uh, the brush that puts the paint, the spray paint uh, feature onto the wall will be done through this and you can manipulate the size and scale and everything here as well as a shader script f so the colors and on the color picker show up for the graffiti um every scene needs to have the boom box and every scene needs to have the um the the loading not the capsule god damn it um the loading with the loading canvas script so um, just go ahead and click around the scene and kind of look at how everything is composed. And it'll give you an understanding of how you need to compose a scene to make it run in Kingspray. So with that said, let's go file. Let's make a new scene. I'm gonna go file and save scene as. And we're gonna name the scene. We're gonna name it test wall. And it'll save it. We're gonna go into our assets, and here is our asset folder. I mean, our asset folder, but here is our scene uh, saved out. So now you know it's saved. Um, go into Kingspray and go under, you know, you can go props, prefabs, and there should be, you know, loading player start, create boombox, wall collisions, wall render. Um, let's go to meshes, particles, scenes. So you will have all your uh, meshes and textures and everything here. So let's make this real easy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to game object, 3D object, and we're going to create a plane. Okay, now we got a plane. Uh, don't worry about the camera and the lighting. That doesn't matter for what we're doing here. Uh, here's the plane. So let's uh, let's bring in the prop boombox. And you can find this in the example um, prefabs. So it should be example meshes. I'm sorry, it's not under meshes. It's under example, Kingspray example. Um, 
materials, I think. No. Okay, so it's under example. And I think, um, no, not particles. It's going to be in the, you're going to open the King Spray tab, and it'll be under props. And then you got prefabs, and this is where you'll find your boom box. So if you click the boom box, it already has that bundle tag boom box attached to it, which is needed to load the level. So, you know, just place this, you know, wherever you want. It's fine. Uh, you're going to need a player start prefab, so bring in the player start prefab and rotate it in the direction that you want for the player to view the scene. So probably like right here is good for me. That comes with a spawn point uh, bundle attached to it. Bring in the loading canvas. And what we're gonna do is we're you know just gonna rotate it a little bit. And this just needs to be like about head high. We'll rotate it again. Okay, that's rotated. Uh, okay, so, and that has a climbable bundle script to it, but we don't want that. We want to set that to loading canvas down here. All right, so in theory, this is all you need. All right, so the floor, we're gonna need to add a component to the floor and we're gonna name that bundle tag and then you're just gonna use the drop down arrow teleport this allows you to teleport along the mesh collider of the floor so everything's good we got the boom box in the scene we got the loading canvas and then we got the spawn point and a teleport bundle on the floor now it's time to bring in that model we made. So we're going to go to um, import new asset. And I saved it under test mesh. So we'll bring in the test mesh. It's going to be really small since we scaled it into a 5 to 1. Like really small. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit R. And we're not going to scale from the outside because if you scale from the outsides, that's going to affect the the image ratio of it so we're just going to scale like this with the center okay scaling with the center scaling with the center um we'll rotate it pull it up that should be plenty Okay, so one side's not rendering. That's fine though. So here's the here's the part we're gonna be painting on. And we just tug it back. I'll try to get it to fit in this aspect ratio. Uh, we'll click this and we'll just snap it right there. Um, I'm going to scale it a little more. So now we got a decent sized wall. And decent sized plane. Okay. So here's our wall. From here we can go ahead and click it. And in the test mesh, uh, there's not much going on here. So we're going to go ahead and remove this animator component and we'll add a uh, first thing we're going to add is a mesh collider so the mesh collider is going to you're going to go through here and find the one that fits for this one it says pc cube is the one we're going to use since that's how we rendered it out um so it has UV, UV2, UV3, four verts, and two tries. Okay. So render mesh, 
it's too big. Uh, PC cube. PC cube one. So this is the one, the prefab that was attached to the FBX that we brought out. Um, we can. When I exported it, I didn't export the entire mesh, so that's why there's no back piece, but I just exported the face of it, which is fine. It's not an issue. Okay, so that is our model, and we'll just tuck it in like that. So in theory, we got the mesh collider set. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna add a bundle tag to it to make it paintable. So bundle tag, we're gonna name it paint surface. Next, we're gonna add a brush setup. So it's gonna be canvas brush setup. We're gonna leave this alone for now. And then we'll come in and play with the resolutions once we can see how it reacts. Well, let's add a shader, shader setup. And you're gonna wanna pick the paint metallic. Okay, so Let's double check our scene. Our plane has a, a bundle tag to teleport. We have a bundle tag to spawn point. Loading canvas bundle tag here. Paint surface. And we got the boom box. So our scene is complete. Now all we have to do is go back to where we saved our, um, our scene. And then down here when you click on your scene, it'll say asset bundle. Click Asset Bundle, and you're going to want to go to uh, New and put in Test Wall. Test Wall 1. And then you're going to want to put dot .ksp, because KSP is the, the naming convention that King Spray uses for its bundles. Hit Enter. So that's what it's going to mark the bundle as. Now, it's really important that you go to File, go to Build Settings, and go to player settings because in player settings it's um there's some things you need to change in here so let's see if i can get this to snap off somehow maybe i'm not sure why it's stuck here Let's just close that. Reset. Not sure why it's opening over there. Um, let's click here and go to uh, window and go to inspector. And for some reason, it's kind of stuck here. So let's see if pull it off. There we go. And we'll just scale the inspector down. I don't like it being stuck there. It's pretty annoying. Okay, so we'll put the inspector right about here. We'll that's plenty big enough for me. Okay. So go back into file, go to build settings and go to player settings In player settings. You're going to want to grab it on the inspector, scale it a little bit. And then you're going to want to find, I believe it's going to be under splash image. Could be wrong. It's in one of these standalone settings for Linux standalone mode resolution presentation. Okay, so it's going to be in other settings and your color space. You're going to switch that to linear, not gamma. It comes set as gamma um, by default, but set it to linear, otherwise it won't work. Let's close these. And um, 
double check our scene. Let's go to window, bring up the inspector again. And it looks like everything here is good. So this all is looking really good. So we'll now just go ahead and from here, we'll go to assets and build asset bundle. Now it's building and it'll build, it'll render and it'll be done. Okay. So now we need to test the level. So go ahead and fire up your VR headset. One second. Okay, I just need to fire up my VR headset real quick. And now we'll just go ahead and jump in the King Spray should automatically load let's fire up my vr hopefully you guys can hear me still i'm just gonna double check my audio real quick to make sure we're still recording and we still got audio okay we're still recording we still have audio I'm gonna launch King Spray. Now, when you build the asset bundle, it's gonna store it in your King Spray documents under bundles. King Spray is taking a minute. Getting ready to launch. All right, let's make sure that you guys have visuals. Steam VR is opening now. Game's running on me. Let's minimize Unity so you can see what is going on here. And we'll minimize this too. Let's go to a single player and it should show up in here yet yeah, to one. And I'll either load it or it won't load. And it, it loaded up pretty fast. So the fact that the level loaded tells you that the level was successful. But I think we're gonna have issues with the, the way the spray pattern is right now. Yeah, see we got some deformities here. But it's not too bad. So it's it's really not that bad. So from here, let's grab a dark color so you can see. Um, we got minor deformities. As you can see, like it's like oval shaped, but. I mean, as far as the painting, not bad. I mean, if you wanted to, you could easily, you know, make this a special level where you have sprays that normally aren't supported by the game, but it's not terrible. All right, so to fix this, so we get a better spray pattern, um, what we're gonna do is, hang on. Keep 
kidding. Um, let me back away. That's why I didn't get a nice clean tag. All right, let's uh, let's let's try to do a decent tag right now. Just something simple. Still worse, the spray is fucked up, but um, we can fix that. So let's go ahead and close. Uh, well, we don't want to get closed from spray. Um, we'll just go ahead and go back to the bunker. Hit yes. Alright, Making sure you guys can still hear me loud and clear. I'm just going to go ahead and close King Spray for now. So my microphone gets reverted back. Alright, so you got sound. Um, so we got an issue with the spray. The easiest way to fix that is uh, to go into the inspector. And you have um, canvas brush script setups here. So um, I'm just going to take a wild guess, but... When you're messing with this, um, the scale, you want to scale it the same number in each direction. So a 111 ensures that it's going to be a perfect circle at this resolution. But this wall is a little is a little big for um, this format. So since it's a longer wall, um, we don't want to turn the medium resolution down, but um, I'm just going to take a wild guess, but everything you do here has to work in theory. So you have to go from the highest is going to be 4,096 and the lowest is going to be 1024. And these are all powers of two. So 1024 plus 1024 equals 248. 248 plus 248 equals 490, 4096 and 4096 plus 4096 equals 8192. Um, there's plenty of tutorials that you can learn about the powers of two. It's basic math. Um, it was one of my biggest issues, but what I'm going to do is I feel that the resolution on the Y axis is fine. So let's change the resolution on the X axis. And what I want to do is I'm going to use the highest resolution I can. So I'm going to go 81. 92 and this will probably fix it but feel free to you know play with these settings you can set any of these to whatever you want to get whatever effect you're looking for but for me i'm looking for a nice consistent dot um the size of a new york fat cap so this seems to be um what i'm gonna do I don't want to change the size that it is. I just want to change the shape of it. So I'm going to add more resolution to the X axis. All right. So now we'll just go back to our test wall. Now you can't update it, unfortunately. So make a new asset bundle name and name it test wall two dot KSP. And we'll hit enter, and we'll go to that assets, and we'll build the asset bundles again. Now, open up King Spray again, and when you open it up this time, everything should be fixed. Maybe. There might be some more tweaking we need to do, but you get the idea. Alright, so we're opening up King Spray, launching it now. My tracking is in the floor for some reason. Um, I got very minimal light in my room. Okay, so we're gonna go back to uh, single player, and there it is, test wall two. Open it. Loads up fine, just like the last one. Check the spray. Get up close to the wall. And the spray is fixed. 
I have no issues now. So, let's go ahead and just do a tag. The spray is a little small, so what I would do is just go in and turn the resolution, not the resolution, but scale it up a little bit. Instead of it being a 111, I would probably set it to 1.25 across the entire board, but this is still relatively acceptable. So let's just do a quick throw here. Oh, turn the pressure down a little bit. This is actually coming out more like a uh, uh, universal German outline than it is a flat cap, but for this purpose, um, it's working for me. Oh, hit the lamp again. We got a basic throw up, the mechanics are working great. Um, even let's see how it fares with you know like a more like PC kind of style. Keep hitting my lamp, I gotta step back a little bit. Pressure's a little high, we'll turn that down a little bit. So, this took me quite a bit of time to understand and learn, but hopefully with this tutorial, I can kind of make it easier for other people to understand and learn. This chair is in the way now. And I'm hoping this tutorial helps you guys make more content for this game, because this game is awesome to play it, right? So, learn how to do this. Um, it's hard, but it's not that hard to do. Learn how to do it and make cool content. Be part of the community and make cool content for this game. And I want to see what you guys create. And that's kind of about do it. Thanks for watching.